Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys beauty products that I've been using a lot in the past month, which is February of 2012. I'm going to start with an eyeshadow palette that I've been using a lot. This is the Naked 2 palette from Urban Decay. I like this Naked 2 palette more so than the first Naked palette from Urban Decay. It came with these colors. I love how this palette has a matte black color as well as a matte ivory skin color right here. And it came with this dual ended eyeshadow brush. This is the blending side. And this is the shader side. And these brushes are made with synthetic bristles. They remind me of uh, the brushes from Sigma Beauty's Bunny Collection. I do have a review video where I show you guys all the latest uh, Sigma Beauty's travel size brush kits that they have out right now. Uh, so if you're interested, check that video out too. I like this eyeshadow palette so much that I'm actually going to give away a brand new one of this to one of my subscribers. So if you want information on how to win this, just wait for it at the end of the video. Next, I'm going to show you an eyeshadow duo from NARS. And this is called um, Para, Para Marbio. Para Marbio, I think. It's a limited edition color. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. So you guys can see for yourselves right there. It's a very pretty, I guess, uh, green gold color, greenish gold. It's really bright and pigmented. And I'll do quick finger swatches. There you go. I have it a little bit on my eyes, but over some eye other eyeshadow colors, so I don't know if you can see it all that well. Next, I have an eyeshadow quad from YSL. It came in this velvet pouch. Looks like this. And this is the Vinyl Candy Palette. And that's what the inside looks like. This eyeshadow is also very pigmented. Let me do finger swatches also. Here are the top two colors. And then let me do the bottom two after I clean my fingers. And here are the bottom two colors. Very, very pigmented and they blend really well together. So those are the eyeshadows that I've been using a lot in the past month. Actually, I forgot one product. Uh, this is a product from Marcel. Uh, this was actually a gift from a subscriber um, like about a year ago, I think, and I finally got a chance to try it. It's a very pretty um, greenish gold color, very similar to the NARS one that I showed. Okay, the color uh, quality. It's not as pigmented as the NARS one, but it's still very well pigmented, and I love the mixture of two colors. Uh, next, I have an eyeliner from YSL also. It's their, um, it's a cream uh, color eyeliner, okay? Eyeliner Effect Fossils is what it says. And I got it in the color, um, I think it's called Midnight Blue or Ocean Blue or Ocean Black or something like that, Sea Black. Well, you can tell that it's a shiny navy blue color. And it's very, very long lasting. It almost looks black sometimes, but you can definitely tell that it's got a strong navy blue tone to it. Okay, it's a very pretty color. Next, I have a drugstore mascara that I've been liking a lot. It's Maybelline's Illegal Length. This really helps to lengthen my lashes and really uh, separates my lashes really well too. Okay, that's the wand. It doesn't do much for volumizing, but lengthening and separating, it does really well. Uh, next, this is a little lip gloss that came with the eyeshadow palette. This palette, okay. And I really like it. It's got this minty taste or minty scent. That's the color here. You can kind of see. Um, yeah, so if you win this Naked 2 palette, you'll get this one also. It's in there. Uh, next, I've been liking uh, this Lip Fusion Infatuation Lip Gloss. 
this is really old I've just been trying to finish it off but this has always been one of my favorite lip gloss I love how pigmented it is um, but it's glossy at the same time and it does have very slight tingling effect and helps to make your lips look more fuller that's the color and the color is called Big and Bear uh, next I have a lipstick from Dior and this one it's the Dior Rouge or Rouge Dior 298 and it's called Rita Beige it's a nice nude color very wearable nude it's glossy finish but still pigmented enough that um, I can just wear this alone it's pigmented and glossy so no need for lip gloss on top I'm actually wearing this today, but I did apply a little bit of this Urban Decay sample size uh, lip gloss on top. Okay, so that's uh, Rita Beige. Next, I have another lipstick, and it's from MAC. I think this is from MAC's um, The Shop Collection, the one with the very bright packaging. Uh, and this lipstick, it's called Innocence, Innocence Beware and it's a cream sheen finish and it's a very light nude color um, it's pigmented and pretty but I think if you're anyone who's darker than NC or NW 40 or even 35 this may look a little bit um, too light okay next are a bunch of nail polishes that I've been liking a lot I have a bunch of Essie uh, Lux Effects top coats. This one here is called a cut above and pure perfection and as gold as it gets. So these are all top coats that you apply on top of a color that you already have applied and this one here is shine of the times. Lastly, set in stones. I know I just showed these really quickly, but I do have a blog post review where I have pictures of each colors on my nails. So remember, these are top coats, not actual regular nail polish colors. Um, but as for regular nail polish colors, I've been really liking these two. This one is cute as a button. I'm actually wearing this one on two of my nails, like these two. Uh, I've been wearing these for over a week so they're kind of chipped at the tip and this one here is Tarte Deco this is a really pretty color what I have on my nails right now is cute as a button on two of my fingers here and the three of my fingers here I mixed this color with white getting lighter and lighter and I've been using SE top coat this is good to go rapid dry top coat. This one, it doesn't dry as fast as a Sesha Vite top coat, no, but it does dry pretty fast and I like how long lasting this makes your nail polishes, okay? Because I've been wearing this color for, I would say, over a week, like almost 10 days and it is a little bit chipped at the tip but I'm pretty rough with my hands. I do a lot of hand work like washing dishes and a lot of writing and paperwork and stuff like that so usually um, it should be in worse condition than this but um, yeah I was pleasantly surprised by the effect of uh, this SE top coat called good to go. Next I have um, a blush color to show you guys. This is a blush color in number 25 in Vogue Orange and it's from the brand uh, Givenchy. It opens up like this. It has uh, four shades inside. It's a matte finish. Actually, I wouldn't call it a matte finish. I would call it a satin finish because it does have a bit of a sheen to it, but it's almost matte. It's really pigmented. Uh, I have them on my cheeks right now. Next is a blush product that I picked up from Tarte. That's what it looks like. It's called Tarte Mara Maracuja Blush and Glow. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but that's what I'm reading on the package right there. Uh, it comes with this tip. It's a solid highlighter or blush 
highlighting blush uh, tip, I guess, that I would use to just apply like that and blend. And I can see this part being used as blush, but this part here is the main part of this product. And it has this liquidy highlighting product. I find that at first it looks really pretty, but once it dries, it kind of disappears into my skin, especially if I, if I rub it a little bit. It just disappears and I can barely see it. So not very happy with this product. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about returning this, so I thought I would show it to you guys before returning it. Next, I have a lip balm product. This one, I saw it in a magazine, and it looked really interesting. It's Lip Macaroon. Um, but I'm showing it to you guys because this one, uh, this particular one, which is in the blood orange finish, yeah, it smells awful. It smells like soap. I can't stand it. So watch out for this product if you see it anywhere. I bought mine from Whole Renfrew, which is a department store here in Canada. Um, if you see it anywhere, make sure you smell it and make sure you don't get the scent called Blood Orange because that's disgusting. Next, I have a water spray. Uh, this is from Caudalie. This is their grape water water spray. It's a smoothing moisturizing spray. It's just a water spray. Um, I like it. I like how moisturizing it is, but I don't like the scent of it. It kind of smells like rotten grapes. Grapes that's just been sitting in water for a really long time. So yeah, it doesn't smell too good, but uh, grape water is good for your skin. So yeah, I don't know. I probably won't repurchase. Next, I have a Lush product to show you guys, and it's their Rose Jam Bubble Bar. This is sort of like a bubble bar product that's kind of like bath melt. You open it up and there's like a bath melt type of product inside. It smells so good. It's so rosy and it's got a bit of strawberry scent to it too. It smells so good and it bubbles up really well. Um, you can easily separate it like this and use it twice. But for a really nice uh, bubbly bath, I would recommend using the entire thing. Next is this PMD device, a personal microderm. Uh, this is a home use microdermabrasion device. Okay, so when you want to get a microdermabrasion from the doctor's office, you can only get it done once a month because it's that strong. But this device, you can use once a week. So you know right off that it's not as strong as the ones that you can get at the doctor's office. But for a home use device, it's pretty uh, strong still. And uh, I really like it. I've heard mixed reviews. My sister used it and she didn't like the results. But after using it myself, I'm thinking that maybe that's because she didn't read the instructions properly or maybe didn't watch the instructional video because when I used it, um, it worked fine on me. It, I didn't get any uh, negative effects from it. My skin is not super sensitive, but it's not super tough either. I'm just normal and it worked fine on me. I used it uh, two, three times so far and I like the results, okay? So if you're interested in a full review of this little device, uh, let me know and I'll do one. Next are these attachments that Sigma sent me. I think these are called spa solutions. The last attachment I have it on the machine. It's these little things. And these attachments for, are for uh, this machine, this device that Sigma has out separately. Um, it's their cleansing and polishing tool. Okay. Um, out of the three attachments that I got, this one I'm not too happy with, this one I'm not too impressed with, but this one I really like. I like to use this as a massaging tool. Um, to give yourself a proper massage for the face, you have to take your fingers and do little circular motions going upwards and outwards, um, and your fingers do get tired after, so instead you can use this. And it goes in circles, so it does the motions for you. Given that you have some sort of massage cream underneath, um, this device really helps to massage your skin and helps the product get absorbed into your skin. Okay, so I really like this attachment a lot. Uh, next is 
a box that I got. It's called Glossy Box. And this box is one of those uh, monthly beauty subscription boxes. So you get, I believe, um, four to six or five to six deluxe size beauty samples each month for this subscription. Um, it's very similar to Luxbox or Glam Bag or those other stuff that are out there these days. Very popular, right? Um, but what's special about this particular one, Glossy Box, is that they give you this really nice storage box. It's so pretty. And they even give you these um, labels. They give you these labels that you can use to label your boxes and store away whatever you need to. Okay, I love these boxes. It's so cute and durable. And it came with a lovely uh, five sample size or deluxe size beauty products that I've been enjoying a lot. And I do have full review with all the pictures and everything um, about the products that I got inside. So if you're interested, uh, check out my review. I'll provide the link to that review down below in the info bar. Now on to the giveaway. If you want to win this brand new Urban Decay Naked 2 palette, um, here are the rules. You have to be my YouTube channel subscriber and you do have to be my Twitter follower and then you will have to enter your giveaway entry to me by tweeting your entry and all you have to say is enter me to your giveaway. And uh, once or twice or even three times a week, I may be tweeting about the giveaway. So when you see that tweet, just retweet that tweet and you will get uh, two extra entries into the giveaway. So that's all there is to it. Make sure you are my uh, YouTube channel subscriber and Twitter follower because I've had giveaways where um, I've stated the same information but the winner that I picked turned out to be um, not following me on Twitter or not my subscriber or something like that. So I had to re-choose someone else. So yeah, make sure you follow all the rules. All the rules that I just said will be posted down below in the info bar. So make sure you read it through and follow them and then enter the giveaway and good luck. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.